Hi guys, time for another bargain store project. Uh, I'm not even going to put a number on this one at the moment because I think the task I'm setting myself uh, may not be practical, but we'll have a go anyway. Um, picked up this magnetic tape, sort of stuff you use for sticking pictures to the front of your fridge or something like that. Um, it's not going to be very powerful magnets. I don't even know which way it's magnetised, but I'm assuming uh, the outside will be north and the inside will be south, something like that, rather than going across ways. It'll be inside and outside, hopefully. I'm hoping that both sets of, uh, both coils of magnetic tape are magnetised in the same direction. Um, but as I say, they're not going to have very much power. Um, if I hold my steel ruler next to it, <laughs> it's not even attracted at all to the sides. I'm hoping it'll be a bit better on the front or the back. But we'll see. I'm going to see if I can make some sort of a pulse motor with it. As I say, I think I'm asking a lot, but... Um, We'll have a look. Right, I should think any of my fellow YouTubers who know how to do these pulse motors properly are cringing by now, or laughing. But what we have here now is a pop bottle mounted on a couple of brackets. The idea will be to cut this metal uh, magnetic tape into strips and put it along here and then stick some sort of a coil, possibly this one that I made for a previous project or I may have to make a couple more to give us a bit more power. Put them under here somewhere. And uh, see if they can repel the magnetic tape. As I say, the magnetic tape's got very little strength to it, so I'm not ho holding out a lot of hope. Either that, or I may have to make a really big, strong coil to get enough um, power from the electromagnet to actually do the deed. But we'll carry on. Right, that's eight strips of magnetic tape stuck to the outside of my pop bottle. Although they're sticky backed uh, tape, um, they don't stick particularly well. So I've put some ordinary sticky tape over the top just to keep the edges down. So, now to see if we can get a coil in place and see if it will actually repel the magnets. OK, I've got my nice big coil of speaker wire here. If I switch my power supply on and off manually, you'll see nothing happens. Oops, just touched it then, so... Position it so you can see it's not touching. Nothing happening at all. Just to demonstrate the difference, I'll just uh, put a couple of neodymium magnets on. So I think the truth is that magnetic strip, <laughs> I'm not going to get it working like this. So I think we might abandon this idea. I 
quite like the setup. I suspect I could stick a load of neodymium magnets around there and uh, get it running that way just for the fun of it. Right, now we're into let's just make it work time. I've stuck the four neodymium magnets on because that strip magnet has just got nothing like enough power to do what I want to do with it. Um, this is one of those reed relays out of those LED auto lights, the draw lights. Um, I've disconnected the rest of the circuitry and there's just the um, reed switch on there. Got my coil of speaker wire. So that was a pound from Pound World. The LED light switch that would have been a pound. The neodymium magnets I bought off eBay. The purpose of this project was supposed to be using these magnetic strips, self-adhesive magnetic strips, but they're just useless for this purpose. I'm sure they're useful for other things, but I certainly haven't got the technology to make it work the way I want to make it work here. So, just because I want to see my bottle spinning, we'll set it up with the neodymium magnets and that little reed switch. Put some power on. Give it a little bit of help. That makes me feel better. I never like to have a failure. See if I can do a close up of the reed switch. You can see it sparking away there. Okay, summary time. Bargain store project number 20. Didn't quite go as planned. The original idea was to use magnetic tape to make a pulse motor. Um, I stuck eight strips of magnetic tape on the outside of this uh, two litre pot bottle but I didn't get anything like enough magnetic power um, from them to actually make the pulse mo motor work. I used my coil of speaker wire that's 10 meter, 10 meter stereo speaker wire, it says there. That was from Pound World for a pound. Um, basically, it's two wires. I've connected one end of the center to one end of the outside. So the circuit actually goes in, round to the center, back out again, in again. And back out, so you've got twice the twice the windings for the price of one. Uh, that's by filer format, I believe you call it. Um, so I put neodymium magnets on because those magnetic strips couldn't couldn't cope. Uh, some of them are white. That's because I've used them in another project, and they've got double-sided sticky tape on them. There's four of them. The reed relay that I used to actually do the timing, or the switching, that came out of this 
LED auto light which is for going in doors or drawers and opens when you open and close the door. It has, normally has a little magnet associated with it. So I've just pinched the reed relay out of it. I don't know if you can even see it on there. It's open to the elements which I've now found I quite like the idea because when it welds itself shut due to the um, flux back EMF, what you want to call it, um, causing a spark, I can just give it a poke and start it again. The actual mounting is just a piece of scrap wood, that was actually from an old kitchen drawer, a couple of metal shelf brackets and the actual um, bearings, that's just um, ordinary paper clip. Probably see I've just hot glued it in there. So that makes a nice easy bearing. And it worked. It wasn't quite what I intended, but it worked. And for those people who panic about the neodymium magnets flying off when it's going really fast, they're actually encapsulated in tape. I've wrapped plenty of clear plastic tape around there to hold it all in place. So there we go. That was interesting, educational. I learned quite a bit about it while I was doing it. And fun. <laughs>